Hi, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss regarding mosquito and integrated vector control approach. What is the meaning of the arthropods? Actually, this term is derived from endemo, it means segmented, and logi is a study. Endemology, it is a segmented study. Or arthropod term is derived from arthrons and poda. Arthron it means joint and poda it means foot. So jointed foot. That is the meaning of the arthropods. What it means? Jointed foot. The arthropods are the largest plium in the animal's kingdom or it is a symmetrical segmented bodies it's supported by the exoskeleton do not have bones but the harder outer covering support the muscles there is a symmetrical segmented body symmetrical segmented body it support and there is a no skeleton but it's supported from the muscles so muscles based this arthropods is Live. There is a sum of the classes. Actually, if it possible, please remember these terms. Arthropoda mainly divided into three class. First one insecta, then archenidia, and another one is the crustacea. Insecta will come under the mosquitoes, flies, louse, fleas, and redwood bugs. And Archenidia will come under the Sophtic, Hartic, Ichmite and Trombiculite mite. And Crustacea will come under the Cyclops. If it possible, please remember this class and these names, this uh, arthropods names. Why we need to study uh, regarding these arthropods? Because the mosquito may cause not may, surely it causes malaria, filaria, Japanese encephalitis, dengue fever, and chikungunya. And houseflies is cause typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, poliomyelitis, gastroenteritis, trachoma. Each might cause scabies, cyclops, gunia worm disease, sandfly, kala asar. Sets fly, sleeping sickness, louse, epidemic typhus, rat flea, bubonic plague, redwick bug, chagas disease, heartic tick typhus, virus encephalitis, and soft Q fever and relapsing fever. So, the most of the arthropods will be transmitted disease condition through the water or food. This is a sum of the transmission arthropod bone disease. Please study this transmission method like this diagram type only. Whenever university asks in question, please draw these diagrams. It will help to get more marks. Transmission mainly three types. First one is mechanic direct, sorry, direct contact. Second one is a mechanical and another one is the biological. In mechanical mainly sorry in biological mainly three types will come first one propagative cyclopropagative and cyclo developmental we'll see what is the direct contact direct contact is nothing but the disease transmitting from man to man scabies pediculosis these are the examples of transmitting man to man especially through the schools or in crowded areas this disease may transmit. Another one is a mechanical. Mechanical is mainly diarrhea, dysentery, typhoid, trachoma. These are the examples. In biological, mainly we will divide into three types. First one, propagative. Then another one, cyclopropagative. And last one is a cyclodevelopmental. Propagative, it is means only multiplication, no developmental. Example, plague, bacillus in rat flea. Cyclop, multiplication developmental example malaria parasite in mosquito and cyclo developmental no multiplication no developmental filaria 
this are the sum of the example please study this diagram thoroughly this is a general features of mosquitoes we are already told first it is a segmented segmented so please remember that terms the all arthropods is a segmented it is based is muscles so here we can divide into mosquitoes three parts first one head second one is thorax and last one is the abdomen in head we can divide into three part first one proboscis then another one is a antennae and last one is a palpi in body was a consistent three pairs head is a semi globular what is shape semi globular there is a large component of eyes and needle sucking needle is called proboscis and palpi situated on either side of proboscis and pair of antennae and feelers it is bushy in male not so in female pairs of antenna it is bushy type in male not so on females thorax we had already told it divided into three parts first one head and the one is thorax and last one is the abdomen thorax large and round in appearance large and round in appearance and another one bears pair of wings dorsally which procedure buzzing noise that one noise will come in him through the mosquitoes that buzzing noise that buzzing noise coming from the thorax three pairs of legs ventrally and next one abdomen it is long narrow and it is composed in 10 segments clasp in males and round in females this is the life history of mosquitoes first one is egg then larva pupa and adult please won't forget if you can't draw this diagram no need to draw diagrams please write this is one cycle type first you write egg then larva then pupa and adult first one egg eggs are laid on the surface water 10 to 25 at a times how much 10 to 25 will divided into three types first one is anophilesis this lays her egg is singly it is a boat shaped egg it possesses lateral floating in anophilis it is a lateral float and boat shaped egg another one aedes it is a cigar shaped and lay down singly no lateral float that is aedes and another one is a culex it is small clusters and mansonia is a star shaped clusters this is a special of uh, this mosquitoes egg first one is the anophilesis second one is the aedes then third one is the culex and last one is the mansonia okay then another one larva the larva is a free swimming creature it is elongated body divided into head thorax and abdomen larva is a free swimming creature what it will have it's mainly feed on algae then bacteria and vegetable matters mainly in anophilesis larvas are it is exclusively in surface feeder it float horizontally just below the surface water very active with shift movement no siphon tubes but breathing apparatus consists of pallet air tubes at the tail end where is the breathing apparatus in the tail end okay it is exclusive in surface feeder it's float on how horizontally okay next one culicins larva it's suspended in water with the head downwards how head downwards is lower with the snake like movement and narrow siphon tubes next one mansonia it is attached root let of aquatic plants in by the siphon tubes 
okay next stage is coming to the pupa this comma shaped in appearance large round cephalothorax and narrow abdomen two small respiratory tubes or trumpet projected in the upper surface of the thorax how much two small respiratory tubes two small respiratory this stage is last one to two days then adult mosquitoes how much is the life cycle of the adult mosquitoes seven to ten days or two weeks males are generally short lived than the females who is the blood sucking mosquitoes male or female is female when the development is complete pupil skin split along the back and adult mosquito emerge the rest for a while pupil skin to allow the wings to expand harden then flies away first one anopheles mosquitoes it is spotted wings how spotted wings when at rest inclined the angle at 45 degree you can see in diagram this angle in the 45 degree survey and there is a no buzzing sound there is a no sound in the anopheles mosquitoes this is some of them anopheles female head and anopheles male head you can see in diagram and down you can see culex females and culex mosquitoes this diagram will come to know how to differentiate male and female next palp long the spotted wings for female and males have antenna in bushy shape in anopheles have the female in 45 angle and male also right side you can see this is a palps are long as the proboscis the palp also long like a proboscis this some of the diagram you can see next one is anopheles in anopheles has palmate hair especially in the end and siphons is a absent that is the difference between culex and anopheles this is a siphon to broad and short in the anopheles what is anopheles special what their food preference it is a both anthropophilic and zoophilic a blood meal as a part of female and anopheles is a essential for maturation of the ovum and resting habits is habit is endophilic indoor resting habit purpose of digestive blood meals for the development of ovum they are commonly interesting in the indoor resting habit by their resting digesting blood meals and development of the ovum how much it will be flight commonly it will flight 0.75 km to 1.5 km life span in india it is one month hibernating mosquitoes lives longer about the 6 month the prefer to clean water for breeding it is irrigation of channel river bed ponds pool lakes spring brackish water barrow beach fruit and vegetable gardens even in open overhaul tanks it will be breed time of biting when it will bite in evening and early part of night evening and early part of night only it will bite what is the feeding habit only female will bite males never bite this is some of them diagram is showing where this aedes mosquitoes will be survive and where it will be multiply in indoor fed side and uh, it will be survive in the even our bed side uh, that bed is uh, bed down and even dark room also it will be survive then time of biting diabetes do not fly more than 100 meter the mostly found in the rainy water which one aedes mosquitoes aedes mosquitoes are the diabetes it is do not fly more than 100 meter it mostly found in the rainy water commonly the species is aedes aegypti and aedes centellaris and aedes albopictus is another time 
and another one is Aedes bitters. The disease is commonly transmit dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever. And dengue hemorrhagic fever also will happen due to this Aedes mosquitoes. That is BHM. Then Mansonia. It is breed in the aquatic plants for the supply of oxygen. Where aquatic plants. There are two species is there in Mansonia. First one, Mansoniodios uniformis and Mansonia annulifera. It is transmitted in the Borchia mali infections of filariasis. We need to underline this Mansonia will be transmitted filariasis. This is a diagram. Siphons is point out the teeth and the angina have the two long bristles. Why? What is the ecological importance? Commonly, the mosquitoes are typically good source of food for the organs such as larvae eating fish. Larvae eating fish have the good source of food, especially the mosquitoes. And the adult are also source of food for the terrestrial animals such as frog, lizards, and birds. This also have the good food. This mosquitoes and mosquito larvae are the filter feeder. But it is not clearly exactly what type of microorganism they prefer to feed on. Mosquitoes are the good vector of disease and transmit many of the most significant infectious diseases to human. That is ecologically important. So you should remember this term with the diagram that is important. Mosquito control measure. This is an integrated vector control approach. So we will discuss some of the main points only. So this diagram everybody everybody should be by hearted. This mosquito control measures. First one is anti larval measure. Second one anti adult measure. Third one protection against mosquito bite. And last one is legislative control. What is anti larval measure? It will come under the environmental control of mosquitoes, chemical control, and biological control. Anti larval, environmental control chemical and biological in anti-adult space sprays residual spray and genetic control protection against mosquito bite mosquito net can use screening and repellent legislative control there is a cv clause need to the control the mosquitoes we'll see some of the main points first one is anti-larval measure this everyone know the most important steps reducing the number of mosquitoes is filing and la leveling, drainage of breeding places, water management. If stagnated water is more, mosquito will, uh, will be breed. That's why the well water management system is necessary to prevent this mosquito growth, especially anti larval measure of two. Then another one, proper disposal of refuse, other waste. That is very necessary because the in uh, waste materials if there is a water in that waste material if the mosquito may be chance to breathe so the proper disposal of waste materials need and cleanliness in and around the houses especially community involved and multi-sectoral coordination is necessary for the anti-larval measure then uh, larvivorous fish is available nowadays Useful for the ornamental tanks, wells, garden ponds, fountains, swimming pools and large water collection. Approximately 5 fish, five fish per square meter of water surface. Long term, what is the use of larvivorous fish? It is long term effective control, cost effective. Actually, if we put one pair of larvivorous like a guppy, it will multiply within one or two months in 120 like that so it is a less cost less uh, cost effective environmental safely and control variety of mosquito species what is the disadvantages effectively when large number eventually establish themselves take one to one to two month it is not su suitable for the quick anti larval measure and less effective in water with uh, much vegetation and floating garbage then anti adult measure, this is all of the no space sprays. There is a thermal fog is there and ULV called aerosol also using. 
and nowadays our place uh, this kerosene also using for the foggy then another one is a genetic control here first one is a sterile male technique then another one cytoplasmic incompatibility third one chromosomal translocation sex distortion and gene replacement lack of mating competency related males immigration of fertile females from the region close to release site these are the limitations so genetically it control and make it that male mosquitoes and another one is indoor residual especially the mosquitoes will be present in indoor in fridge uh, that back side of the fridge and uh, this uh, commonly in bed down side in dark room some of the corner side of the rooms wherever uh, that dress and all will keep that side also mosquito will be present so the indoor residual spray also important especially application of insecticide to surface so that insecticide particles remain on the surface in the form size and quantity suitable for the insect to pick up contact and sufficient exert lethal effect for long period especially endospheric spaces then personal prophylaxis we can use mosquito net then another one is a repellent this is also one of the best method to prevent the mosquito bite one is a net and another one is a repellent and another some personal prophylaxis is a screening screening the buildings with a zinc aluminum plastic or bronze how 60 meshes to the inch is recommended screening the building especially in ventilated on the wall will be covered with this zinc aluminum plastic or browns in 60 mesh and the protective clothing especially full sleeve dress will prevent the mosquito bite and other methods are heating sweater use of fan in high speed and replace mosquito net etc then nowadays it's available in market insecticide vaporizers that you know and another one is a legislative control is most important especially in genetic controlling and everything the highly pressurable legislative law we need to control this mosquito otherwise nowadays the especially the vector borne disease is one of the major issues in our india so we need a good control against this uh, vector issues okay so we can see the last slide this is what are the things we can do first one is a biological the exotic natural enemies what are the preventive measures we are doing in the biological we can use larvae virus fish and microbial agents in source reduction we can intermittent irrigation water level management land filling channeling in water or any stagnated water and draining in health education we need to health education community school education program through the tv or any of the mass medias personal protection bat bed nets repellents full sleeve dress etc chemical insect control insect growth regulators adulticides and larvicide this is a, one of the main important things you should study everyone this biological source reduction health education and personal protection and chemical so if we use this technique effectively we can control the mosquitoes okay so thank you have a nice day